the most important Vaishnav teachers in the generation. <clears throat> Shinivas Acharya is one of the most important Vaishnav teachers in the generation immediately following Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is chiefly remembered as an illustrious disciple of both Gopal Bhatt Goswami and Jiva Goswami. And his achievements include leading the very first book distribution party that they hand wrote every single book. Just imagine. In the history of Gaudiya Vaishnavism, converting to Krishna consciousness King Bir Hambir of Vana Vishnupur, originating the Manohar Shore style of Kirtan, developing elaborate techniques for Manjari Sadhan, and co-organizing the first Gaur Purnim festival, which was held at Ketori with Narottam Das Thakur, Shyamananda, and thousands of other Vaishnavas. Srinivas's parents, Gangadhar Bhattacharya and his wife Lakshmi Priya were both great devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they raised young Srinivas to lovingly sing Gaur Kirtan. At the age of 20, Srinivas met Narhari Sarkar, a personal associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who encouraged him to go to Jagannath Puri and see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And so, around the year 1534, Young Srinivas Acharya set off to see the Lord of his life. Oh, soon, soon I shall be in Jagannath Puri and I shall see the beautiful lotus-like face of my dear Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, who is now dancing amongst the most fortunate devotees of Jagannath Puri. Soon I shall see him. When I get there, the first thing I shall do is throw myself into the dust of the sacred ground of, of Jagannath Puri and roll in the dust left by the feet of the exalted Vaishnavas. Oh, Prabhu, I have a very bad news to tell you. Oh, we are there. Oh, oh Jagannath Puri Prabhu, down. Prabhu, you must listen. Oh, yes. Prabhu, you must listen. Mahaprabhu is no more. He has left this world. And this Dila, we cannot see it anymore on this world. No, no. I have failed to obtain my heart's desire. Darshan of my beautiful Lord. What shall I do now? My life is ruined. I think I shall just die right here, either burning in fire or by drowning. Ah, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> in a dream, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Told Shinivas, do not lament, I am always with you, and you are eternally my devotee. After the vision of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shinivas made his way to the Gopinath temple and took shelter at the lotus feet of Sri Garadhar Pandit. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent me here to see you. Srinivas, I'm so glad you've come here and introduced yourself to me. Just before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left this world and went into Aprakat Lila, he instructed me to teach you the Bhagavatam. He knew that you would arrive in Jagannath Puri after his departure and he asked me to explain Krishna Leela to you. But alas, O oh young Srinivas, I cannot teach you at this time, for the manuscript in my possession 
has been soaked by the Lord's tears as he read of the separation between Radha and Krishna. All the words have become smeared. Just look. <laughs> oh, Prabhu, what shall I do? You must go to the house of Narahari Sakar and obtain another copy of the Bhagavatam from him. But please hurry. My feelings of separation for my Lord are so strong that I cannot remain in this world for long. Please hurry. Oh, yes, Prabhu. Prabhu. <laughs> When Srinivas Acharya arrived in Bengal at the house of Narhari Sakar, he heard of the passing of Garadhar Pandit. He took the news very hard. Oh no! No! I have again missed my heart's desire. Sri Garadhar Pandit was going to teach me about Sri Krishna Leela my relationship with that Leela and the process by which I can obtain entrance into that Leela and the goal of my practice, divine service to their Lordship Sri Sri Radha and Krishna and the wonderful gift of Krishna Brain. But he has gone. How will I obtain my heart's desires? Maybe. Maybe I shall just die right here. <laughs> Overcome by lamentation, Srinivasacharya said in trance, Sri Garadhar Pandit appeared. My heartly blessings to you. Do not worry. For your mood of separation for the Lord and his devotees has been fanned into a blazing fire. Go to Vrindavan and take shelter of Rupa and Sanatna. They will instruct you in the intimate secrets of Bhakti. Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> the glories of Sri Rupa and Sri Sanatan Goswami are inexhaustible. They have fully renounced all worldly desires and they are fully dedicated to the internal desires of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. They have found all the lost holy places of Radha and Krishna's pastimes. They have reestablished proper deity worship. And they have written super excellent nectarian scriptures on Bhakti and Bhagawan. Oh, soon, soon I shall be in Vrindavan, the land of Srimati Radhika. Oh, at that time. I shall be granted the exalted privilege of serving those exalted Raj Rashi Vaishnavas. Oh, soon. I shall be there soon. Oh, fortunate Grinch Bossy, please, can you tell me where the Govinda Dev Temple is? And Their Holiness, Sri Sri Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami. Oh, Prabhuji, the Govinda Dev Temple is over there. But, however, Sri Sanat Goswami has passed away four months ago, and Sri Rupa Goswami left only four days after. Prabhuji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how unfortunate I am! I have lost the association of these divine personalities. Oh, where is Rupa Goswami gone? Oh, where is Sanatana Goswami? All of together, 
they have gone to join the great dancer, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, I shall dash my head on the stone or burn myself. My life from now on is worthless. Where are they? Oh, oh, oh Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, While in this mood of deep, deep lumbaras, Srinivas Acharya saw Rupa and Sanatana Goswami. These great souls instructed him to take Diksha from Gopal Bhatta Goswami and Shiksha from Jiva Goswami. Taking these instructions to heart, Srinivas went to the Govinda Dev temple where he was greatly warm, warmly welcomed by Jiva Goswami and all his followers. He then took Diksha initiation from Gopal Bhatta Goswami, who revealed to Srinivas Acharya at this time that he, Srinivas, is non different from Mani Manjari in Braj. Gopal Bhatta Goswami also revealed his own eternal spiritual identity as Guna Manjari. In this identity, upon which he would now cons consistently meditate upon, she would assist Guna Manjari in her service to Sri Radha. This was to be his inner meditation from that day. <coughs> Gopal Bhatt Goswami explained to Srinivasacharya that this mode of the mood of devotional service is called Ragatmika Bhajan. After revealing these confidential truths, Gopal Bhatt Goswami and Jiva Goswami introduced Srinivasacharya to all of the inhabitants of Raj. Two other young devotees had been placed under Jiva Goswami's tutelage, the illustrious Narottam and young Duki Krishnadas. These three devotees became Jiva Goswami's best students and were widely known as inseparable friends. One day Jiva Goswami called his students to him. My dear Narottam, Srinivas and Duki Krishnadas, I am very pleased with your studies of the forest in Vrindavan, with Raghava Pandit over the past few years. Now I have a new mission for you. Janava Devi has contacted me and requests that the Bhakti Ras scriptures be brought to Bengal. Thus I have chosen you three to bring these sacred texts there. But first, Naratam Das, step forward. From now on, you will be known as Narutam Thakur Mahashai. Hariwa! Srinivas, Srinivas Das, step forward. From now on, you will be known as Srinivas Acharya. Hariwa! Sri Krishna, Duki Krishna Das. Since you have brought so much pleasure to Srimati Radharani, from now on, you will be known as Shamananda. Haribo! 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 After many months of travel, they approached the land of Godadesh. We are almost in Bengal, and all is well. Let us rest in this town for the night and continue travel in the morning. Yes, this looks very nice, but make sure the guards watch the books. Ah, let us take rest. I am very tired. Ah. The king of Vana Vishnupur, King Bir Hambir, had sent dacoits to plunder the Sankirtan party for treasure. The dacoits had been following the devotees for weeks and chose this night to attack. The books. The books. 
box! Somebody the stolen box. the box! Oh, oh no! All the books, our life and soul has been stolen! The loss, the loss of these most sacred scriptures is a misfortune we will never recover from. Our worst nightmare has come true. Our lives are now completely useless. <laughs> this is indeed a setback. <laughs> But, since this is my zone, I shall stay here and make it my life's mission to find the books. As for you too, my dear Shamananda, the literatures of the Goswamis are in your heart. You should go on to Bengal and preach those nectarian shastras to all that you meet. You have my blessings, my brother. Oh, Naratam Thakur Mahaswai. You are very beloved by our gurus, Gopal Bhatta and Srila Jiva Goswami. You proceed to Orissa and preach these nectarian bhakti shastras. Convert everyone, and soon we shall meet again. My dear brother. Now, now, I shall write a letter to Srila Jiva Goswami telling him about the sad news. Meanwhile, at the court of King Birhambir, the king eagerly anticipates his stolen treasure. astrologers have prophesied that there was a cart going through my kingdom last night and it was carrying some very precious treasure. My dacoits should be here any minute with my surprise. I wonder what it should be. Gold or maybe gems even more valuable than gold. <coughs> Where are they? Can't wait any longer. Ah, oh, here it is. Send it there, yes. Oh, what is my treasure? philosophy. Oh, what have I done? I know what I've done. I've committed a great sin. Protect this box. That night, Srinivasacharya appeared in the dream of King Birhambir, glowingly effulgent and filled with divine energy. My dear king, do not worry. Soon I shall come to your kingdom, Vishnupur, and then I shall retrieve my Shastras. Do not worry. At that time, you will be free from all your sinful reactions, and you will know boundless joy. Know it for certain that you are my eternal servant, and I am your ever well-wisher. My king, you have your blessing. Some weeks later, at a Srimad Bhagavatam study group, 
that was held regularly at the palace, the king overheard a class given by Srinivas Acharya. When Srinivas was finished, the entire assembly applauded and were all ecstatic with Srinivas's contagious love for Radha Krishna. My dear friend, no one has ever come to this kingdom and shared such love and scholarship in the way that you have. Please tell me, what is your name and where do you come from? My name is Srinivas and I am a native of Bengal. I have been traveling under the order of my spiritual master and I have come to your wonderful kingdom to hear the Nectarian Shastras on Sriman Bhagavatam and to also see your beautiful surroundings. But you should be king, for you have love for Lord Krishna. Please let me serve you. What can I do? My entire kingdom is at your disposal. My dear king, I have been sent on a very, very special mission by my spiritual masters, Sri Gopal Goswami and Sri Jiva Goswami. They have sent us with original bhakti nectarian shastras written by Sri Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami. But while we were traveling through your kingdom, someone stole the books. My dear king, if you could be so kind to help me find them.